Hey, this is the Abyss News Channel. My name's Andrew. How are you doing? Um, just wanted to make a quick video about um, um, someone my who my wife met today. She uh, met uh, a young uh, Japanese mother in here in Melbourne, who's married to an Australian man, and um, um, they uh, have a daughter, and uh, she's she's from Yokohama, which is uh, south of of Tokyo. Uh, it's actually incorpor incorporated in part of Tokyo. And she was saying that um, a lot of the old people, um, you know, when you get examples from, you know, Fukushima Diary or e, e, &E News, um, wherever, you know, you hear of terrible stories of people getting sick and, uh, you know, um, measuring uh, radiation in their in their food and so forth. But when you get a personal anecdote or a personal story, it really, really hits home and uh, really does confirm on, a, on, a, on an emotional level your um, your worst fears about radiation and what's going on in Japan. So uh, this young mother was, you know, she's very plain speaking about it. She uh, she says that a lot of the old people in her, um, in Yokohama are getting uh, getting ill constantly. Um, you know, ailments, um, I didn't, I, my wife didn't say exactly what, but uh, um, I imagine like flus or, you know, body pains, body aches. There are just, people are getting sick more and more often and, um, you know, as they say in seemingly unrelated to radiation type illnesses, maladies, you know, all kinds of little little niggly things. So, um yeah, it's quite um yeah, it's quite distressing. You no, know, you know, um you know, we live there and you know, we consider the nation of Japan to be our our, our second country, if not equal with Australia and and America. You know, and it's it's our it's our sisters and brothers over there. So I guess I think a lot of the um, the attitude of the old older people is, um, you know, this mother Japanese mother who my wife met. She says that um, she she wants them to come to Australia. You know, try and emigrate to Australia, but they're generally saying no. Uh, we'll stay here. You know, and I can understand the mindset. You know, Japanese people. You know, like like most people there, but Japanese especially, they're very uh, rooted to their hometown, where, where they um, where they were born, or you know, um, and I think for the most part, a lot of the old people, older people in Japan, are, are sort of saying, "Oh, fine, you know, we've lived a good life, um, you know," but uh, they all fear for the, the the young children of Japan, the young the young people, because you know what life will they experience, and um, so that I mean, the old older people are content to sort of take their chances, and uh, they've had a good innings, but. Um, it's, it's you could make a very strong case that uh, the the children of Japan and young families need to get the heck out of there. So worst can, worst for, um, fears confirmed there. Now also um, just want a comment about some of my friends. I mean I um, I post a lot of um, radiation news on my Facebook. Talk about it quite a lot to my friends. Um, uh, tell them about uh, about the documentary I made, but uh, you know, even for me, of course, like anyone else, um, I have a lot of friends in in living in Japan, uh, foreigners, and also Japanese, um, and uh, you know they don't re don't respond at all, don't respond because um, you know they've they've made their decision they're they're staying in Japan, which is you know, it is what it is. Which is great. Uh, it's it's a great place, but um, you know they're they're burning the radiation. They're burning the radioactive debris all over the country. Um, reactor four, you know, could blow up any time. Will collapse any time. And uh, there's still radiation in the air, and you know it's 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 infecting the whole, seemingly the whole country. You know, steadily. It may take years, but um, further out regions it'll take a bit longer. But um, it will get around and. Um, I just, I just can't believe it. These, you know, these are intelligent people, you know. But um, you know, especially the foreigners, my foreign friends, who can leave Japan any time. Um, but um, you know, it, it's not just a question of, hey, um, I'm going to take my risks and you know uh, try living here. But there's just no discussion of it at all. Just no response. Um, 
quite a few of my friends and some living in Japan they 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 often put up posts from this uh, this site I believe it's called I I uh, effin love science you know like the the f word I effin love science and there's lots of you know glib pictures about how you know how many earths fit would fit in Jupiter or you know every atom in your in your body uh, was in the was once in a star, you know, the star fused these atoms together and made different elements like carbon and, um, you know, whatever, potassium. It was all within a star at some stage. And, you know, that's fascinating. But um, um, so they're, they're really interested in science, you know, because, um, you know, it's <laughs> it's rational and, um, you know, it, it's uh, it overcomes science for, for many of the you know my my friends and perhaps your friends it uh, it sort of it's it's a religion in itself in that um it uh wipes away superstition and uh and um you know conspiracy theories supposedly but um yeah i mean there's a whole lot of science in a nuclear reactor can't can't you um put that um very discriminating lens of science on not just you know on jupiter but put it on the radiation and that's in your food that's in the water table that's um you know going to slowly um kill you know you know again years decades um not many decades maybe one or two maybe one at most for you know it, it's this you know radiation is going to show signs within uh within a few years and um you know, you know, put your uh, put your um, scientific lens on that. But no, um, for the most part, people are talking about um, you know they're still um, talking about global warming. You know, carbon dioxide is so so dangerous. Now, some of you out there may may believe in may may global warming, and that, you know, that's fine. Uh, we can talk about the science, but um, you know, radiation is it's not disputed. Um, so, uh, just unbelievable. A friend of mine, a couple of friends of mine, male friend posted on, uh, posted that he's, uh, he's currently hiking through Niigata. Um, another female friend of mine says, oh, next week I'm going to Tokyo. And, um, you know, I mean, you can't stop them. I, I don't think less of them for going, but it, it might enter their, your head or their head that, um, hey, you know, uh, you know, there's there's um there's a lot of um evidence to the contrary that may perhaps you should think twice about going but uh, it just i guess shows you how powerful the um, mainstream media are in and how much you know, they're ignoring the problem so if the government and the media are not uh um you know banging pots and pans about fukushima then i guess it's okay to go and um you know uh, you know, adults have a have a uh, have a thing for credibility, and the, they uh, they tend to, but they mistake credibility for um, you know what's popular, what's on um, on the TV, what's in the newspaper. So there, there's your credibility, and that's that's where it gets you. Um, uh, radioactive hot particles and radiation um, in Japan and in the northern hemisphere. So um, you know. Um, it is what it is. So, uh, crazy, crazy times. Very, very sad. Um, you know, I, I wish I could, um, you know, express more, more um, clearly how how this affects me and my family, and you know, all of you out there. But um, you know, it's it really is coming. You know, chickens are coming home to roost, and uh, they'll be coming home. Uh, you know, in spades. Um, so, yeah, this is me raving on about radiation. Uh, take care out there. Spread the word as spread the word as uh, as well as you can. And uh, this is Andrew Biss signing out. Take care.